Right, hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match day vlog. Uh, this time it's Swansea City versus Barnsley in the Skybet Championship. This Friday, 3 p.m. kickoff at the Swansea.com Stadium. Um, so we'll get back to um, with Luke and the boys for their predictions uh, when we're at the ground. So yeah, see you then. So yeah, Jake, pretty much playing the harvester. Estella Shandy. What's it like? Yeah, not necessarily getting more than a Shandy today, to be honest, but uh, let's give it a go anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go a good uh, mixture of lemonade and uh, lager. I think it's like, you know, the perfect mix. I'd have to give that a solid 8.2 out of 10. Uh, so we're outside the ground now, I'm Joe Taylor, also known as uh, Barnsley on top. Uh, what's your prediction today? Yeah, I think it's going to be another far away day for us to come out with all season. I think the drought will continue. I think it'll be a 3 0 match for the Barnes. So I'm with Curtis, yeah. also known as the Georgia. What are you thinking today? Well, Barnsley, it's a big game for them today. They're going to be really fighting. It's going to be a similar game to Saturday. And I do fancy a five goal thriller, but we're on good form. 3 2 Swans, Joe Pro a brace, Patterson to do a goal, Barnsley, Carlton, Morris, and a mind bad scene. Yeah, it's a bit of a thriller of a game there. Yeah. yeah. Five goals. So I'm here with uh, Lee Smith, also known as Swansea Ladies. What are you thinking today? Yeah, Barnsley at home. Uh, got a decent record against them over the last couple of years. A lot of 2 0 actually in there. But um, like I've been on your channel the last couple of weeks, every time I predict us to draw or lose, we seem to win. I did it against Derby last week. Yeah. Uh, I think it was against Coventry and Birmingham. So yeah, I'm going to carry on the theme 2 1 Barnsley. But you know what that means. So yeah, 2 1 Barnsley. Uh, the Swans, Jolpro, Barnsley, Cole, Carlton Morris, Merrick, and Coley were drawn in the two most score. Nice one. So in the grounds now, the lineup is out. Um, Andy Fisher, Ben Cabango, Carl Morton, Joel Latimodia, Cyrus Christie, Jay Fulton, Matt Grimes, Hannes Wolf, Joel Hero, Jamie Patterson, and Michael Oliver Fermi. And who's got the bench? Yeah, on the bench, we've got Ben Hamer, Brian Mann, Ed Boyster, Olivia Chan, Carl Joseph, Daniel Beta, and Cameron Conklin. Um, so yeah, I've got that prediction then. I'm going to say, well, we're on a bit of a roll at the moment, but I'm going to be confident. 23 bands in nil. I'm going to go with Joel Piero, uh, Jamie Patterson and Matt Crichton to score on his 200th appearance for the club, but what's your prediction? I'm going to go with Fredo Swans, I'm quite confident this game because you don't know how I'm going to I think we're all going to break, I think we're going to play this ball for the club. It's a hard time, the Swansea City nil, Barnsley nil. Been a pretty poor first half to be honest, obviously, you know, we've gone back three wins in a row. Expect a bit more, but, you know, we haven't been bad, we just haven't got our chances away, but we've barely created any, and the ones we have had, we haven't put away. Hopefully, you know, more in the second half. Um, hopefully, you know, bring on Olivia and Cham, maybe Corey Smith, had a bit of energy. Um, yeah, we just need to start creating more, that's all, I think. I do think we still win this game, but I don't think it'll be as comfortable as it I think we have them to the best side. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit uh, looks like we're on the beach at the moment, not creating much. Uh, Barnsley, fair play, that you know, this doing well defensively, trying to counter attack, but yeah, not being great, but it doesn't take as much to score. Half a chance, and, you know, probably bear it or something, but yeah, nothing to play for really, so can't really say much. 
Yeah. Been on good form recently as long as we don't lose this, you know. Yeah, exactly. So half time, nil nil. Curtis, what are you thinking? Well, it's not well, not been a great game. I think Barnes has been slightly the better team, I'd say. Dominguez Queen had a few chances. And uh, well, we've had a couple of chances ourselves. Patterson had a big chance, and three or two messed it. Yeah. And yeah, I think if we have any chance to win the game, if we want to attack more, Encham is probably the answer to bring on because he's the main game changer. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I still got subscribed here, Leon. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, to be honest, I expected a better performance. Well, this half, um, West has been a bit. Bad. Also, their four teams dirty twat. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully this half now we can get energy and we can be fast at playing. Um, this is my friend Cameron. Thoughts on the night, yeah. Cameron? Uh, I think it's been a sick game. I think Barnes have been the best. I think they deserve to win, but second half we're going to turn it around. Come on, he's Up on his stand. Four Nelsons. One Nelsons. Up on his stand. He and Miles. Nothing. Even though he's got a chubby mother, we can get this in. <laughs> Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. 1 0 down to Barnsley. Claudio Gomez with a goal. Good finish, to be fair, but. Fuck's sake. Yeah, it looks like every chance about to come on now. The afternoon for Swansea City leaving the field. Number six, Jay Bolton. Jay will be replaced by the Swans number ten.
give it. Shoot. Still in. Come on. Go. Yes. Time, Swansea City won, Barnsley won. Pretty poor game to be honest with you. Um, it's just one of those games where we had loads of chances, but just couldn't take them. Deserved to win the game to be honest, but the point's better than none. Um, it's just a bit of a shame though, you know, that um, the other teams around us as well have, have won today, so we couldn't, you know, make up any ground, but a point is better than none, and you know, it's a good performance, we just couldn't take our chances, but what do you think? Yeah, well, I thought first half we were awful to be honest. But Ian Sham came on, changed the game completely, turned on his head. But uh, yeah, we had so many chances, as you said, and we should definitely have won that game. Considering Barnes, we are near the bottom, near the bottom of the league. Yeah, we shouldn't really be taking advantage of this game, we're it. But yeah, we did actually struggle at, at certain points until Ian Sham actually came on, which is a massive shame, really. Obviously, Red and we've got now on Monday, which we need to win desperately. And uh, yeah, this result is not good enough for either team, which is pointless. So. It's that really shocking to draw at home to win the worst things in the world. Yeah, very annoying. You know, we could have had a few penalties, didn't take our chances. But obviously, thanks for watching anyway, and we will be back on Sunday night for our match preview ahead of Reading away. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.